What's up guys and welcome to my 100,000 subscriber question and answer video where I answer as many questions as I can from the community. Most of the questions of course come from the discord. Now just before we get into all the great questions you guys gave me, I want to make a couple of announcements before we get started. Now the first pseudo announcement of sorts I have to make is that some of you have been asking me for a face reveal for quite a while. And for those of you intent on seeing my face, be sure to follow my Battlefront base Instagram as well as my Geetsley's Instagram as I'm probably going to post on one of those. So anyways, let's get into the real announcements and the first one I have to make is that some of you may remember the last video where I announced we're going to have a giveaway for T-Blocks. So the winner of that giveaway was of course Horizon NB. And if you want to read his spectacular fanfiction, go back to the video, his comment will be somewhere at the top. So Horizon, if you want to collect your prize, message me on Discord as soon as possible. So now for the second big announcement, and to celebrate my massive 100,000 subscriber milestone, I'm giving you all the option to support the channel by buying an awesome hoodie and or t-shirt that'll only be available for a limited time only. So if you want a rad hoodie and like my stuff, go check out the Teespring link in the description below. And now for the last, and in my opinion most exciting announcement I have for you guys today. That announcement being that a dedicated group of Geetsley's operatives have created our very own Clone Wars RP server on Gmod. This Gmod server is of course made by the community for the community, that community being you guys. So I do hope you join us when this server is complete. I will be announcing it on Discord and Instagram sometime in the near future, so keep your eyes peeled. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the announcement, so let's head on to the Q&A. So the first question we have comes from Nesquik, and he asks, What inspired you to begin creating your information videos? Also, love the videos, keep up the great work. Well, Nesquik, basically, when I was watching uh, my fair share of Star Wars lore videos, I noticed there was a little bit of a gap and there wasn't much Clone Wars content. So I had a little bit of fun, created some Clone Wars videos, and luckily for me, it just kind of took off and I managed to fill a little bit of a gap in the Star Wars market that I thought wasn't being filled and apparently wasn't since we've reached this 100,000 subscriber milestone. The second question comes from Leroy Jenkins and he asks, do you like phase one clone armor or phase two clone armor? Also, you are the best Star Wars YouTube channel ever, dude. Thanks, Leroy. Love your name. Brings me back to a bit of the WoW days. Um, and to answer your question, I'd have to go with Phase 2, based purely on the fact that I think it just looks aesthetically more pleasing than the Phase 1 armor. Uh, I'm not going to really talk about specs or anything here, but based purely on looks, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Phase 2. Uh, let me know what you guys uh, what you guys prefer in the comments below. I'm, I'm curious. The Rogue asks, do you actually take video ideas from the video suggestions channel? That video suggestions channel on the Discord, of course, for all those who, for some reason, aren't on the Discord, which I highly suggest you join. And to answer your question, if I am ever really out of ideas, I do head on over to the video suggestions channel because it does have quite a few gems. But for the most part, I do like to keep things kind of organic. And I just prefer creating my own ideas as I find they just work a little bit better for the channel. But hey, I do occasionally take video ideas and some of them turn out to be pretty successful. Uh, one of those being when Sergeant Alpha asked, what if the Camino Uprising was a success? That of course, I transformed into a video. And I did forget to credit you, Alpha, but I will credit you in this video. So thanks so much for that idea because it was a good one and uh, it was a really fun video to make. So now Cyrus Simmons asks, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? If I was watching other YouTubers, then who were they? Well, to be completely honest with you, I wasn't really heavy into Star Wars lore channels as I found they mostly focused on the original trilogy and not many focused on the Clone Wars at all. Uh, so I guess, I guess my channel was the result of the absence of the Clone Wars in the Star Wars YouTube community. Um, I of course did watch uh, the occasional fact-free and stupendous way videos when they focused more on, you know, Sith and Jedi topics, but for the most part, I just kind of found original trilogy videos not as entertaining as the Clone Wars, um, but I'm, I'm glad to have changed that. Uh, no shade to the, no shade to the OT purists, so. So our next question comes from Cody No, and he asks, which faction do I prefer? The Republic, CIS, Empire, or Rebels? Well, it's probably kind of obvious from my recent discussions on original trilogy versus Clone Wars uh, and the content of my channel, but you can pretty much rule out the Empire or the Rebels. And for those of you who have been watching me long enough, uh, it's pretty easy to tell that my favorite faction would have to be the Republic. Gotta love the clones. 
Commander Horizon asks, if you were to choose between fighting a Gorog, fighting Darth Revan, or fighting the entire strike team of the Citadel, which one would you choose? You are force sensitive in this scenario. Well, to be honest, I'm dead either way, so I may as well meet the Citadel gang before I uh, perish. Short but sweet. William is curious how my YouTube channel's quick rise to popularity impacted my regular life. Well, I wouldn't really call it a quick rise, but it definitely was a rise to popularity eventually. Um, and I, my name is now out there in the Star Wars community, so yeah, that's, that's, that's great. And I'm now at the 100k, even better. Um, but to answer your question and how it's impacted my regular life, it has in quite a few indirect ways uh, and direct ways. Uh, one of the indirect ways, I guess it's made me question the validity of the education system a little bit more now. Um, and I'm just more of a cynic when it comes to the whole, the, yeah, the whole system. Just not a big fan of it. But that's kind of a topic for another day. And interrelating with school, instead of focusing all my efforts on school like I did in the past, I now try to divert my focus 50-50 because of the YouTube channel. 50% of my focus going to the YouTube channel and 50% going to schoolwork. So in saying that, my grades have slipped a little bit. But my parents understand, and everything is still going well, so no complaints here. So thanks for your question, William. Now moving on to Commander Wolf. Would you rather lead the Wolf Pack 212th or 501st into combat? Well, in my opinion, I'd love to lead the Wolf Pack into battle, as I see them as kind of a balanced hybrid between the 212th and 501st. Um, and I also love their armor, so that probably contributes to my choice there a little bit. Uh, so yeah, don't, uh, don't hate on me in the comments. Didn't say 501st. May shock some of you, but the wolf pack's where it's at. Now, on kind of the same thread as Commander Wolf, Goldling's Halo asks, Who is your favorite personal clone battalion? I know it ain't the Kurison Guard. Well, Goldling's Halo, you'd be absolutely right in saying that. And my personal favorite battalion, if you hadn't guessed by now, would have to be the wolf pack. CT9368 Edelweiss asks, who is the worst clone commander? And the Discord community pretty much answers that one for me. Uh, so yeah, you guys know me too well. Uh, Fox. Screw Fox. Uh, please hate on him in the comments below. Because I'm really not going to stop you. Maverick DM asks, how did you get into Star Wars and the lore of Star Wars as a whole? I know I pretty much half answered this question before, but to add a bit more depth, uh, I'll just give you guys a little bit more of a background. And my segue into the Star Wars universe was pretty normy if I do say so myself. And personally, I was entranced by everything to do with clones, played all the prequel games, and of course watched the show religiously. I also loved the Old Republic trailers and thought they were mesmerizing, although I never played the uh, Star Wars The Old Republic MMO, as I was kind of hooked to World of Warcraft at the time. Uh, but I did try and download it on a couple of occasions, but being from Australia, where the internet is worse than Kenya, true fact, the download uh, would never work. The patch would take like 20 hours to download, and I just, I just wouldn't be bothered. So yeah, I guess I'll stop by our crappy internet and never got to play The Old Republic. Wish I would've. Wish I would've. So now Sergeant Alpha asks, When starting out on YouTube, was there ever a time you doubted yourself and thought about quitting? If so, what brought you back to YouTube? Well, no, I haven't really ever thought about seriously quitting YouTube yet. Um, and to answer the second part of the question, if I've ever doubted myself, uh, yeah, I, I have, and I think every other YouTuber can attest to uh, this kind of self-doubt you have after you ride a massive wave of virality like I did after my Order Worse Than Order 66 video. Um, you just have to get used to not always garnering the same amount of views, uh, the YouTube, all the external factors YouTube has that could easily, with the change of an algorithm, impact your channel tremendously, which, of course, many of us have probably seen so many YouTubers just die because of these algorithm changes. Uh, so you do constantly doubt yourself, but in the end, in my opinion, it's it's still worth it because of the great community you, of course, build while making these videos. Cytological asks, who is your favorite clone trooper? 
It'd have to be Commander Wolf. You guys are probably noticing a pattern by now. The reason I like Commander Wolf so much is not only does he lead the wolf pack, but he's also just cool, calm, and calculating. And he just has one of the best personalities for a clone trooper, in my humble opinion. Well, what do you know? A question from the big man himself. Eckhart's Ladder asks, could Dexter Jetstar have aided the rebellion? If you're part of Rebel High Command when Dexter signs up, do you use him as a cook to feed the troops, or do you have him on the front lines? Well, to answer your question, Eck, Dexter Jetstar would have definitely aided the rebellion with his supreme cooking skills. I mean, his food apparently just tastes too good. And I reckon that'd give a morale boost to all the rebellion troops in the galaxy. So yeah, I'd leave him as head cook personally, and I'd get him to whip up some uh, delicious Ewok burgers for me. So another question from Nesquik, and he asks, where did your name Geetsleys come about from? Well, basically, I was stuck creating a name, and I was really intent on making a YouTube channel. So I ended up thinking back to a high school friend who was nicknamed Geet. I ended up adding an LYS at the end, and Top 5 Gaming for all those who remember my original name, which was Geetsleys Top 5 Gaming. The original intent of the channel was actually to do Top 5 videos on all sorts of topics, but... Once I got my initial break with Star Wars, I realized there was no point, so I just kind of stuck with Star Wars, and I wrote it out. And eventually at 15, or 10 to 15,000 subscribers, I just ended up changing my name to Pure Geetsleys. So, uh, yeah, no more Top 5 Gaming at the end of it, because it wouldn't have really made sense if, uh, if you think about it now. But yeah, that's, that's basically the origins of the name Geetsleys. Clone Commando asks, what do you think about cross-era gameplay in Battlefront 2? And what do you think about only two prequel heroes at launch, those heroes of course being Maul and Yoda? Well, to be honest, I don't really expect much from EA and I'm just glad they finally listened to us and gave us clones and space battles. I mean, no matter how harsh it sounds, there's not going to be another original Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, and that's just the, the cruel and harsh reality these days. Uh, that, that tends to happen when a multi-billion dollar conglomerate company takes over a popular IP. But what can you do about it? What can you do about it? So, hey, at least at least we have clones and space battles. I'm not complaining. Inhabtide Soul 4 asks, what's your favorite movie besides Star Wars? Now, that's a hard one because I can't really choose between The Matrix, The Revenant, and Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, I love history, so Hacksaw Ridge is definitely on there. In my opinion, it was just a little, it was just a cut above Saving Private Ryan um, with their bloody and brutal scenes. Um, and yeah, they accurately portrayed the Japanese as well. Uh, the Matrix, I just loved for obvious reasons. And The Revenant, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was just perfect in. So yeah, those are my, those are my three picks for my favorite movies other than Star Wars. Commando Chris asks, how did you get into the YouTube scene and why focus on Star Wars content? Well, I've pretty much answered this question, but just for you Commando Chris, I'm going to add a whole nother layer of depth. And basically, the only reason I got exposure with the channel was essentially because Fact Free and I posted a video about clones who disobeyed Order 66 at almost the exact same time. Our tags were pretty much matching and a lot of viewers were directed to my video, a lot of his viewers which gave me the initial growth to, you know, start the whole YouTube train rolling. And yeah, eventually I hit gold with the Order 37 video. And yeah, once again, here we are today at 100,000 subscribers. So I guess I have to thank Fact Free and pure luck. Dragon asks, who is your favorite Jedi? Well, I personally always found Mace Windu to be one of the most misunderstood and powerful Jedi in the universe. And... I was always intrigued by his purple lightsaber, his fighting style, and his his weird compassion toward clones that a lot of Jedi, a lot of other Jedi didn't show in the Clone Wars. So yeah, I, yeah, Mace Windu was kind of the black sheep of the Jedi in my opinion. No pun intended. No pun intended. Nothing of the sort. But yeah, I always found him extremely uh, intriguing. So yeah, it'd have to be Mace Windu. Sharp asks, what things do you wish you did differently when you started up your channel? 
Well, there's only really one thing I'd, I wish I did differently, and that was get a better mic before like 20 or 30,000 subscribers, which is when I eventually got my trusty Rode mic. But before that, I was stuck using the Mac mic, which, as many of my older subscribers would know, didn't sound too good. So the audio quality of my older videos is, is subpar, to say the least. Um, so yeah, just get a better mic. That was that only regret thus far. Stupid Malgus asks, if you could change anything in Star Wars canon, what would it be? Well, personally, I'd change that part of the fan base, and I think we all know which part I'm talking about, that just worships canon and dismisses Legends in its entirety. Uh, and in my opinion, Legends has some of the coolest stories in Star Wars, so just to outright dismiss it is kind of like, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that, of that, of those thread of fans. Honestly, I think OT purists are cut above them. Uh, but yeah, um, not, not so much anything to do with canon, just that minuscule part of the fan base that, you know, is set on canon and canon only. VHA asks, if you were to create a trilogy of Star Wars movies, what would the premise and plot be? It'd be the same as George Lucas's version, except Jar Jar would be the all-powerful Sith Lord, and the clone army would somehow live on and enslave the galaxy. So that means, no empire, and no rebellion. Boss asks, what is your favourite lightsaber design? As much as I don't like The Force Awakens, I have to admit that Kylo's lightsaber design was on fleek, and yeah, it looked, it looked, it looked great in my opinion, so yeah, it'd have to be Kylo's lightsaber design. Uh, as much as I hate the character, and all that he stands for, and his weak backstory, He's got a cool lightsaber, what can I say? The Senate asks, which is your favorite Clone Wars episode? Hard to pick just one, but the episode that put me on the edge of my seat for almost the entire time was the one where Fives nearly destroyed Palpatine's entire plan. But unfortunately for us, he died in one of the most sad ways and died to Fox. Screw Fox, hate on him in the comments, much appreciated. Ida Carrot asks, did your friends and family support you starting your YouTube channel when you just started out and do they support you now? By the way, new staff member here and I just wanted to say that I love the community and the server. Well, thanks for your question and message Carrot. And to answer your question, yeah, I've never really been discouraged or encouraged. My family are great, but they of course don't understand the whole YouTube climate and scene. So they just let me do my thing and yeah, it's just cruising like there's not really much to support me on because I reckon I can just pretty much support myself whenever whenever it's needed. So yeah, not really, just neutral I guess. Boy asks, is this a good drawing? And in my humble opinion, yeah, it's a great drawing. I mean, you've just managed to perfectly capture the essence of whatever it is you try to draw. So please, uh, please do my channel art. I'll, uh, I'll hit you up very soon. Yep. Spectacular. Spectacular stuff. Vacwolf asks, Do you agree that dank memes make dank dreams? I do. Commander Aryan asks, What planet would you like to be stationed on, and which battalion or general would you bring along? I always found Dantooine or one of the deserty planets to be aesthetically pleasing and pretty chill, so I'd have to go with that. And to complement a chill environment like this, I'd also want a chill Jedi General. So I'd of course have to take Plo Koon, I mean who else? Cytological asks, how's he gonna survive all of these questions? And I honestly don't know, but I somehow did, and I did enjoy answering them, so thanks for submitting all your questions guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out all the announcement links in the description below, including the new Battlefront based channel we have up, the upcoming Gmod, the upcoming Clone Wars RP Gmod server, and my fresh new 100,000 subscriber limited time only hoodies and t shirts. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little insight in into my YouTube personal life, I guess. And I hope to see you in the next video.